All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another week of uh, videos with Speak With Larry. My name is Larry James. I own a company called Speak With Larry, no spaces. And what I'm doing for the next 90 to 100 days, maybe, is I'm sharing information that I'm doing research and finding. I'm actually even subscribing to some channels or to some platforms and, you know, sharing their information. Uh, because I think it's so important that we as black people get a kind of a feel of or well, better understanding of our journey or our ancestors' journey. In other words, just to learn more about our history, right? So I'm making it, uh, a, I guess I'll say a decision, a conscious decision to uh, share as much information as I can about that black experience from the time the black man stepped foot on American soil, which was in 1619 up until today, 2021. So a lot of the information I'll be sharing, I'll be sharing with other people from, from, that other people have written. I just did the research and I will always reference those people because I don't want to take any credit. I simply want to share the content, the valuable content that they've created. So on this one, I want to just make this one relatively short. Uh, I was doing some research on a site that I subscribe to called truedreads.com. And uh, that's T-R-U-D-R-E-A-D-Z, D-O-T-C-O-M, capital letters, truedread.com. And this was a guy by the name of Jason Williams. He wrote an article called The Power of Momentum. And I thought it was very enlightening, very eye-opening. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Not going to take long, but it's very profound in my opinion. It goes, thoughts have momentum. The mind is powerful and our thoughts have energy. When we focus on thought and give it our attention, that energy affects what we say and do in response. Once the thought gets enough of our attention, it begins to gather momentum. Behaviors have momentum. Our mind and body are great subordinates to the beliefs that drive our behaviors. And once our patterns of behavior or habits have been established, they directly influence our attitudes, actions, and words. Habits have their own powerful momentum until we decide to change them. Relations, relationships have momentum. All relationships start small and grow over time. As we connect more deeply with others, certain relationships, especially romantic ones, will establish momentum. While others like with coworkers may not at least in the same dis direction. A relationship, in relationships, momentum can be established by creating honesty and truth to gain greater transparency. By using the three simple balance steps of awareness, alignment, and activation, we can stop, change, or redirect momentum in our lives. We can recognize momentum through awareness, discern healthy, from unhealthy patterns by choosing alignment and continue the momentum or choose to change, stop, or redirect it through activation. Three simple steps for recognizing, slowing, or starting new momentum. Why is understanding momentum important? Because we have the power to adjust it. When our patterns or habits are no longer working, even if they have gained momentum, we can adjust or we can adjust our focus. By making different choices and focusing on new healthy habits, we can slow momentum in some areas and create new momentum in other areas. And this will help us move in the direction that we truly desire, even if it's just a bike ride around the lake. That, ladies and gentlemen, was something that I thought was very interesting. Because I, I understand mo you have to have that momentum 
to go to the next level. You, you can't just start and get there. You have to build up to that. And that's a, there's a process involved. So I wanted to take a little few minutes to share that with you guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Again, my name is Larry James. My company is Speak with Larry. And as always, share with someone else what I've shared with you. Bye.